Hi, my name is Dylan Brown. I am the developer of sci-fi horror game, Caffeine. And welcome to the first development log for the first week of the Indiegogo campaign. If you haven't checked that out, be sure to go check that out in the link below. So, uh, today I'd like to show a few features that I've been working on recently. Uh, they're not final, they're pretty early on, but they're starting to work really well and I'm really beginning to like the look of them. So, here we are on one of my example levels, which is what I use to iterate quickly, um, multiple features and materials, etc. So, we're going to jump right in here. There we go. Uh, first off, I'd like to show off a little bit of the camera bob and the player controller. Uh, it's been really jarring and really static beforehand in the older demos. So, a lot of people have been asking about uh, adding camera bob, camera movement, crouching, jumping, well jumping was already in but it was a bit um, crazy like you're on the moon kind of gravity. So if we walk forward there's a slight camera bob at the moment. It's The timing isn't quite right yet but I'm getting pretty close to an acceptable level. Uh, there's also crouch now if you have used control it'll be remappable though. So now that that's out of the way, I'd like to show off some of the physics-based interaction that I have been implementing uh, the last few weeks. So here we have a little metal kind of box, it's just an asset from Caffeine. And we kind of want to get up to that top ledge. So if we hold down right click and drag, then you can basically move any physics-based object. So it's a bit, uh, it's not quite right yet. Uh, it's sometimes objects can get quite crazy if you bump them into things at a high speed, but we're getting there. So if I jump up, oh, if I just jump up here, with, if it'll work, yep, there you go. And if I can, there we go. <coughs> jump up on here, and now we're up here. So. See that walkway over there? So there'll be puzzles like this through uh, throughout Caffeine, These, especially these simple ones. There'll be harder ones, but some of them will be quite different. So you, you might think that walkway is pretty stable, but it, as we will find out, if I just drop this here, as you can see, it just fell kind of thing. And uh, that's the glitchiness that I was talking about. So what I'll do is I'll just jump over. Moment. And I've grabbed the wrong thing, and now I've lost that. Oh well. What I was going to demonstrate is to just lean that across, but it's a bit touchy at the moment. And most tiles in the game, this space station is made up a lot of t made up of a lot of tiles and modular assets. So what I've implemented is that they are static at the moment, but when I grab go to grab them, they just fall apart, which is kind of cool. I think anyway. So that's some simple physics based interaction. Let's jump down here. Um, you're not going to have a torch in the game. I've made a final decision on that. But you will be able to carry objects that cast light. So let's uh, throw this light at the, the wall. Oh, wrong part. Oh, there we go. Some cool physics there. So let's grab this in here. We can carry it through to the dark areas, and this is a this light is casting on everything. Basically, there's some real-time reflections there, which is quite cool. And you could use something like this to light to to find your way through. As you can see, the collision's a little bit buggy, but that should be fixed within the next week, in time for the new demo, which is being released in a few weeks. You throw it over there. So that's uh, all the stuff on the physics-based one. Now let's move to, uh, over to a new example. So this is my material test map that I use to test material instances and um, kind of environmental things. Most of my materials, the materials in Caffeine, are built with vertex painting built in, which allows me to do some cool stuff like this, if I grab my paint 
until uh, if I go before, let's say, let's say first there was a pipe on the other side of this roof and it was leaking some water. So if I come in here with my vertex paint and just use the blue channel, blue for water, and if I paint on here, just like so, we now have a wet patch coming down from the roof. Let's just expand that a bit. So it's been dripping down. Then on the tiles, we can go like so. We can even do it like this. More. So it's been dripping over. And then finally, onto these two. And then, like so. So what we have here is very, very fast way to have to add wetness to a scene, which works really well. I can have another, even as small puddles, works quite nicely. And that works for basically all the materials I use in caffeine. So it gives me lots of flexibility um, to break, kind of break up the repetitive assets, for instance, these walls. So in addition to that, not on the blue channel, on the red channel, for example, I have rust, which I could come in and do some up here. And then we'd match that on here to give it some, so it's not a straight line on the harshness of it. So I've got some rust there. We could come down here, add some rust in the middle. As you can see, it yeah, that blends to rust, which is really cool. Also works on pipes, pretty much anything. Pipes aren't quite as polished as everything else yet, so but there we have some rust. So it, so yeah, that's uh, the material properties of, of the game. Now these can also be edited in real time if it's an, in, if it's an material instance, which is pretty cool which I should be showing off in another devlog sometime. Some dynamic materials. So let's jump over to the last example for today, which is a light puzzle demo. I won't save this. So. A cool little thing that I'm trying to, that I'm implementing for some of the puzzles in Caffeine especially in rooms with windows, is the fact that the station is rotating all the time in real time, like a real space station would, or around a planet, orbiting at least. But the sun position would change. So I've started to use the real-time global illumination, which is in experimental phase in Unreal Engine 4, which is light bouncing. Uh, and for instance, if we were to... If I were to look at this room right now, if I press play. I can't see a damn thing. That's because the sun is on the other side of the station and there's no illumination in this room. So, some rooms in caffeine with puzzles, um, simplest exp explanation would be if there's a hole in the floor or multiple holes or dodgy tiles that will fall. They'll have rooms that aren't illuminated at all and you won't be able to see. So, basically moving through them in the dark would be suicide or without a light source. So it turns into a timed puzzle where you have to wait. As you can see, the lights start to come in. This is at a very sped up time speed. Now I can see that there's holes in the floor of this test level. So I can, you know, navigate through. But it's, but it's also can be quite time sensitive in the fact that you, you have to get through it before the sun moves to the other side of the station. which as you can see is gone now and now it's pretty black again and I could fall down to my death so that's the light puzzles or well, light puzzle example that's about it I wanted to show today thanks for watching and thanks for supporting caffeine 
be sure to check out the Indiegogo campaign in the description below. It'll be linked. And like us on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at DylzerX, D-Y-L-S-E-R-X. And have a great week. See you all next time.